So over the last year, working with the refugee community, I could see that one of the big interests was football and that wanted to sort of help and support the local refugee community. We look after the running of Meadowbank, uh, our 3G state-of-the-art facility. Uh, FIFA quality pro surface, so an amazing surface that uh, the teams are playing on today. And I'm down here just to see where we've got to in terms of when we first started and now seeing the first league of Unite Through Football. In terms of organised, structured football, they, they don't have that access to it at the moment. So it's fantastic for us to be able to offer it to, to 100, 120 players today, hopefully 160 and, and even more up to 200 uh, later in the season. Hopefully this is a bit of a showcase as to what can happen that if you partner up and join forces, um, you can certainly create a project as big as this. From a, a modest beginning, it's, uh, it's, it's brilliant to see the hard work from SPHL, from Surrey Police and from the staff at Surrey FA to, to, see, to see the final product. We've had to bring everybody together across eight of our hotels, um, get them all on a coach, supply some lunches for them. Surrey FA have been extremely helpful in providing everybody with football boots and t-shirts to get this tournament up and running and I think for a first event it's been a massive, massive success. It's a good place to play soccer, football, sorry, um, to gather with some friends, meet new people and also, you know, to sweat a little bit so you can exercise. It's really helping me with the mental health as well because my family and we have, we have many problems going on. But you know, when I feel uncomfortable, I went out to play football. So yeah, it's really helping me with that as well. In my case, football has been my life um, since I was born. I used to go to stadiums with my family back in my country. And I was missing this, I was missing playing a team. One of the best ones is getting to know people, getting to talk to them from different areas of life, areas of work, and from different countries as well. And also get to know what this organizers are doing as, you know, as a whole, trying to bring people together and uh, it's a great way to achieve a lot of things in life. It doesn't matter what activities we offer to the residents, we always go to the residents to see what they are interested in. Uh, as we you know within our hotels in Gatwick and all over the region, football is one of the most interesting hobbies for the residents. Just being able to give them that opportunity to, to leave the hotels, to come out and play some football, uh, the beautiful game and make sure that they enjoy what they're doing. But you see when something happens on the pitch and there's a slide tackle or the whistle's blown, everybody has the same reaction and it goes to show that football is the common language here. I think it's really important that everybody's here today. Everybody gets to know each other on the pitch and off the pitch. They're building up all of their teamworks and their friendships which they'll obviously take back home with them. Football's so important because it, it keeps people active but it brings people together. Um, we have a number of different uh, languages, um, people from different countries and football brings people together. The benefits of, of, of exercise is well known. Obviously being in a team environment such as this is, is even better. You, you make links and you make friendships that you wouldn't do just by sat around or, or going for a walk. Football is a universal sport. You don't have to be good at it to play it. Football is recognised across borders internationally. Surrey FA, along with our EDI team, the Surrey Police, the SBHL, we just know how great an impact it has on both physical and mental health and well-being. What more could we do for our refugees than to provide this fantastic location uh, and this fantastic project uh, and unite people through football?